Welcome to Meta News. We're the premier news source for the Horizon World members. Uh, today, you're at the uh, Blanco's uh, business segment, and we're going to discuss contracts today. And I feel that the members of Horizon needs to have a, a general understanding of contracts as they prepare to um, do business in Horizon as well as build build and, um, you know, and get into the, the process of uh, selling assets and um, and doing transactions amongst each other. So, um, first of all, before I begin, we must give the disclaimer that this is not legal advice as we do not practice law, nor is this intended uh, to be considered legal advice. Uh, we're in Horizon World. We share information, and this information is for anyone to take this information and speak to an attorney if they need to or go to any business source to verify all content that we give on the on the uh, Blanco's business segment. Now, with that being said... Uh, I think that each um, individual should know the basis of contracting because we're always doing business and that means we're always contracting. And a contract can be a matter of just specifically agreeing to something with someone and that someone could hold you to that agreement if that someone could uh, prove in court probably with witnesses or other circumstantial information that you agree to perform and you're obligated to perform which either cost them to act in consideration or cost them a loss from your inaction, from you're not uh, providing your consideration to the agreement. So sometimes I'm going to use the exact words because um, you need to hear these terms, consideration, you need to be under, you need to understand uh, agreement, um, performance and obligations. These are the terms that are used when they're uh, speaking in, in terms of contracts. Now, you could also enter a contract, um, what they call uh, bias. Well, no, not bias. It would be a um, tacit agreement. Uh, that's another terminology that they use for it. I just don't have it at the tip of my tongue right now. But contracts are implied and they are expressed. And what I mean by implied, uh, the majority of things that you do in your life, especially with uh, the governing bodies like the municipalities, the states, the uh, federal government, those are a lot of implied contracts. That means you are accepting a benefit or you're accepting something in return for the benefit, which means you have a duty and obligation according to the terms that they're outlined. Now, there's no different than Horizon Worlds when they say, hey, you use our, our platform, you build, everything belongs to us as long as you agree to that. As long as you press that button, you agree. Well, that's an implied contract, and it's very different from an expressed contract because an implied contract is usually unilateral in which someone gives you terms, but they don't, they don't really sign the document or sign a document giving you full disclosure that you have rights that you could possibly be waiving. So therefore, you're the only one pressing the button or signing a document, and that's it, that's a unilateral contract. And unilateral contracts are typically rescindable. You can rescind your signature. And the term they use is called a rescission of signature. That is, if you sign a unilateral contract. Now, an express contract is when both parties fully disclose all the potential obligations, the, the potential penalties, uh, should there be a breach in the contract by either party, and it outlines um, the remedies, whether those remedies would be to go to court or go to a mediator, or if you sign a security agreement, not knowing, <laughs> and they can just execute that security agreement. <laughs> and that security agreement is just another form of document inside a contract or an additional document in the contract that would give them the, uh, the ability to enforce the penalties should you breach. So these are things that you would want to uh, understand in general so that when you talk to an attorney, you won't be completely lost when he's explaining to you the nature of a contract. Because in most cases, the people that um, contract us, they know that we don't really have, um, we're not really trained uh, in contract law. Um, even attorneys, they typically have to, uh, what they call, they have to specialize in this area of law. Uh, to be uh, considered licensed or um, competent to actually uh, serve the public. So some attorneys may, may do real estate law. Some may do commercial law, uh, you know, entertainment law, patent law. It's all types of laws and all types of areas of law 
that uh, attorneys uh, typically uh, specialize in. Um, but whether 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 you well actually to know which attorney to hire or to retain is is you having a general understanding of law because you may want to get an attorney to defend you, but you wouldn't want to get an attorney who's a tax law attorney to defend you in court because those are different rules. Those are different uh, competencies that they must be aware of because they have rules of court as well as rules of law that can make a difference regardless of what the law states uh, in black and white. You may have an attorney who don't know procedural law because the courts is, are really ran by procedures such as you don't make a claim or you don't state a defense. They're going to say you defaulted. You agree. And that's, just, that's the same as having a contract in, out here in the public or here in the horizons where if they state something, they state that, hey, we made some changes to the policy. You agree to this if you continue to use it. And if you don't rebut it or if you don't opt out or if you don't uh, accept it, uh, it's implied by your continued use without rebuttal that you agree to the implied contract as opposed to you uh, uh, notifying them, notifi notifying whoever is giving you that implied contract and stating your own conditions or your own stipulations uh, so that you're not bound by an implied contract. But once again, in general, I just wanted the Horizon members to get an idea about contracts. Again, we stated that there were implied contracts um, and implied contracts are contracts that are usually uh, you receiving a benefit for some type of service or something provided to you. And uh, you have duties and obligations according to um, or to those entities or those um, municipalities or whom, whomever is given that benefit. You have an obligation to them according to their rules. And in most cases, it's called law. <laughs> and um, then you have the. Um, you have the expressed contract in which it's like a contract, like you're actually sitting down and you're both going over the terms and you're both signing the dotted line, obligating yourself to those terms with full disclosure. Those are not rescindable. Those sometimes have to be uh, reviewed by a third party like a court or intermediate, uh, intermediary or um yeah, or intermediary who would come between the two and determine who is in breach. Or in some cases, you may take the contract into another form of, of law, which is considered equity, to determine if that contract was fraudulent. Because sometimes you don't want to go to court and trying to um, challenge a um, a contract that was fraudulent from the beginning. Because if it's proven fraudulent, the contract is thrown out as if there was no contract at all. So basically, Horizon, we just I, I just decided today was a good day to, to talk about contracts because I, I hear so many people talking about uh, getting their um, their world together and getting their concepts together and they want to get ready to monetize. And that requires contracting on every level, whether you're contracting with Horizon Worlds, whether you're contracting with Meta or whether you're contracting with uh, other businesses through a business to business relationship or if you make or, or or if you're making customers in here in which you have a business to customer relationship. So all these terms that I'm saying, all you have to do is look them up and you get familiar just by, you know, looking into this yourself and learning more about it so that when you are ready to sit down with a professional and hire a professional, you will know exactly what he's talking about or she's talking about. Well, thank you for tuning in to Meta News, uh, Horizon's premier source of news. Uh, have a good